Welcome everyone, thank you. And welcome Dr. Borum, thank you very much for the preparation you've put in for this. Thanks Lean Frontiers for your organisation, always spot on as usual. And uh, thanks for the people who are joining live, thanks for your time at whatever time of day it is for you. Dr. Borum, if you can just flick onto the next slide, please. This will be very brief. So you can read there he, Dr. Borum's practical experience. The thing that I like about Dr. Borum is he seems to me, I don't know him that well, but he seems to me to be very good at separating out the critical thinking side of medicine, which is the medical expertise, if you like, from the process and system side. So this is about the process and system side of applying medical practice, I guess. And he's very, very good at separating them out which is why we asked him to do this webinar. So with that, Dr. Borum, over to you, away we go. Uh, uh, thank you uh, so much, Oscar, for the opportunity. So what I'm gonna present here is what IHI is proposing for our partners around the world. And it's to include TWI and job instruction in visual management to make in the implementation easier more reliable and to sustain improvement uh, when achieved. So I'm speaking the name of IHI, the Institute for Healthcare Improvement, an independent not-for-profit organization aimed to improve health and healthcare worldwide. So uh, with this project, we are uh, helping several public hospitals in Brazil, Portugal, and Mozambique to reduce hospital acquired infections and maternal mortality using this the methodology that I'm going to describe right now. So uh, in, in this particular initiative, IHI had to train more than five, uh, 400 people in job instruction, part of TWI, and visual manage, management in less than six months. And most of the training needed to be virtual because of COVID. So we are talking about a training in job instruction for more than 500 people, everything virtual, and, and the aim is to reduce hospital acquired infection. Um, so uh, how exactly we're proposing to do this? So IHI create uh, 10 or 15 years ago, a methodology called the BTS Collaborative or Breakthrough Series Collaborative that relies on the spread and adaptation of existing knowledge to multiple settings to accomplish a common aim, in this case, to reduce hospital acquired infection. Since 1995, IHI sponsored hundreds of collaborative projects on several dozen topics involving over uh, 2,000 teams in more than 1,000 uh, healthcare organizations. And, and here's the, the slide describing the breakthrough series model. Usually we do this in two or three years and we enroll from 10 to 100, 200 organizations working together at the same time to achieve one, one single win. So, so this, can uh, you go, Dr. Boron, can you go back to that model? Just a quick question. Where did the JI training actually fit in that model? Is it in the LS1, LS2, LS3, PDSA so, yeah. stages? Correct. So um, LS1 is learning sessions. These are learning, virtual learning sessions where when we teach the model for improvement, but TWI is actually a separate um, module uh, from these regular learning sessions. So the okay. TWI, it's in addition to this LS1, 2, and 3. Okay, no worries. Thank you. Okay. So uh, our collaboratives use the model for improvement, and the model for improvement has three questions. What are you trying to accomplish? In this case, reduce hospital acquired infection. How you know that the changes and improvement, we select a set of outcome measures in, in process measures. And what change can, can we make that will result in improvement is the change package, all the bundles to prevent infection. And after we respond, answer these three questions, we ask teams test using the, the scientific method, method the PDS, PDSA cycle, plan, do, study, and act. I know that it's a, a little bit different from Lean that says check, we say study. 
And um, so to achieve bundle compliance in US teams to achieve at least 95% of compliance, we ask them to run a small test of change using PDSA cycle cycles, starting with one patient, one nurse, and one doctor. And these changes are related to the bundle of care. And it's all related to bundle compliance. So the health healthcare workers have no trouble to test. They are very good at it, no problem. They struggle when they have to implement the change. That means they have to make that change the way, the new way of delivering the care. And so in, after all these years working with collaboratives, we still didn't have a reliable way to standardize the implementation. The hospitals usually use a very cumbersome, complex document to standardize process. And these documents, they never use these documents because they're too big and too complex. And that's when TWI in Tamishibai comes in, is, is to help the teams to implement change. So we still ask them to test the change using PDSA cycle, but when, when it's, it's time to implement the change, we are teaching them how to use TWI, especially job instruction and visual management to uh, sustain improvement. And why this is so important? Because before the introduction of TWI, there was no uh, a concrete way to help the healthcare workers to standardize the work. And also the training, uh, the bundle training was very inefficient. And there was a lot of variation within hospitals and among hospitals. That's why we decided to include uh, TWI in Kamishibai uh, in the collaboratives. Dr. Boron, so, just a question. Yes. There's a bit of an assumption there that we all know what you mean by Kamishibai. Can you just expand on that, please? Kamishibai, it's a, it's a, it's a, I'm going to show uh, a, an example. Right. You know, it's, it's okay. a, it's a, it's a board where the teams can men, use a visual, visual, visualization of the, the elements of the bundles. Okay. It's so associated it's a visual, with visual management. management. So, right. yeah. Visual management. Yeah, it's a derivative of visual management. No worries. Correct. Correct. Thank you. Thank you. Should I move on? Yes, please. Yeah. And okay. I was one of the ones who was making that assumption that I thought I knew, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> okay. No, good. I'm, I'm glad that you asked me this, those questions, uh, Oscar. So why you decide to introduce job instruction in the visual management into the collaboratives? You can see here, you, you cannot even read this, but this was the way that we asked, we've been asking the teams to collect process measures. So they had to have 20 of the spreadsheets here on the right and using this checklist, collect every single element of the bundle and decide if there was compliance uh, or not. And variation was enormous and there was no, uh, they, were, they didn't know what a, a work standard was and standard work was. So that's why we decided to train them in job instruction in the visual management. And so how do you, how do, you do this? So we have collaborative, collaborative leaders, the Minister of Health and Improvement Advisors that are people that are uh, improvers. So we offered a uh, 100% uh, virtual training, the classic job instruction, 10 hours, five uh, sessions, two hours each session for 10 people. And who are, who are those people? They were um, the, the coordinators of the collaborative. They're, you know, kind of managers of the collaborative. For the hospital teams, we, we decided to, to train them two per hospital, in this case, we're 200 hospitals, but in Portugal, it's gonna be 20 hospitals. In Mozambique, it's gonna be 
uh, 10 or 15 teams. But for the teams, we're going to train them on just how to use the job breakdown sheet. You're not going to give a complete uh, job instruction training. Because so just so I understand that job instruction training focuses on two skills, developing the job break job instruction breakdown sheet plus delivery of it. What you're saying is you're only going to focus on the delivery of it. Yes, for the hospital teams, but for the, the left side here, we ah, have to get right. the package. Right, 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 right. The left side is going to get the whole package, both skills, if you like, of JI and the right side is going to get just the delivery aspect because they've already got, they're going to be provided with the pre prepared breakdown sheets. Correct. Because can you imagine, you know, training yeah, yeah, more yeah. than Makes 400 sense. people, giving the whole complete, complete yeah. training virtual, you know? Makes perfect <laughs> sense. Absolute impossible. sense. It's a, it's a yeah. challenge we strike quite a bit. Yeah. But, and, so not everyone also, needs both. Yeah. And, and also in COVID times, you know, it, it's it's going to be almost impossible. So yeah. that's the the way that we organized the training. Yeah, good. Makes so, good sense. Yeah, in here, um, Oscar, is the commission buy on the left? It's a it's a board. You know, I don't know if you use metric system, but it's like uh, two meters for three meters size. It's 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 a quite a big uh, board, and it's. It's hanging on the wall of the, the ICU where everybody can see. And they use the cards that are called commission by cards. And we also proposing with the, the TWI and the, the job instruction, we are proposing them to create a daily management board to run the collaborative. So these two elements, Plus the, the job instruction training, we've been calling this daily management to sustain improvement. So in each, each of these uh, commission by cards uh, contains or, or uh, has all the elements of the bundle and someone has to check here if the bundle compliance ha happened or did not happen. And yeah. so for us to do this here, we had to train them in the, the job instruction. So that's what took a lot of time because you had to create one job, uh, job breakdown sheet for each element of the bundle, each element of bun the bundles. So we took a lot of time for us to help them to create this, this uh, job breakdown sheet with the important steps, key points and the reasons. Right. So beside the training, the regular training, I had to interact with them for at least 40 hours for us to create all the, break, the job breakdown sheets. So beside the training, we had to have the one-on-one -on -one interaction to help them to create the, the, the job breakdown sheets. Is it clear, Oscar? Yeah, no, it's perfectly clear. And I'm getting slightly distracted. I'm going to distract you a little bit. But I, the previous slide, and on this slide, I noticed you've talked about uh, tracheal tubes. And they, so about 18 months ago, I did training with Teleflex in Malaysia, job instruction training at the factory where they make those tracheal tubes. And it was, and uh, so it's interesting to see the connection here. You know, we did JI where they make the tubes. Now you're using JI where they actually use the tubes on a live human being. Interesting. I find yeah. that interesting. No, that's good. good. So, and, and we, after we developed the, the, job, the job breakdown sheets, we supported them to create the process instruction document. And this process instruction document, it's a very simplified uh, way and very visual. So someone can get the, the card, in this document here and go in, observe the, the procedure at the, the, the bedside. And this person has to understand if the, uh, the healthcare worker followed all the key points we described in the job, job breakdown sheets. So first of all, they create the job breakdown sheets then we asked them to, we supported them to create the instruction, uh, the process instruction uh, document. And there's a 
perfect matching between the key points from the job instruction uh, breakdown sheet, the process instruction and the, the commission by card. So actually the commission by card is everything that is in the key points because here are the things that make the, the procedure safer or protects the patient or, or uh, protects the, the healthcare so is worker. So is the process also instruction the, the, the thing on the left, like the outcome we expect from someone who has uh, done, what, done the work properly? Yes. So instead of using, because the, the job breakdown sheet is just for training in to for select the key them. points. Yes. That goes to the commission by card and goes to the process, the process instruction document. For someone that is observing the, the procedure, the person is going to use the process exactly. instruction yeah. paper and the commission by card. And this one is going to be used for, for training. Okay, so the two things on the outside are like the work standards. Correct. For the, the state, the expectation, if you like, um, the middle one thing is the thing how we teach people to deliver yes. that expectation correct absolutely correct as i said at the start Perfect. i love the way you your systematic and process thinking as opposed to the critical thinking of medicine this is this is brilliant oh thank you well and and so here's an example of the commission by for example if the bed elevation is not between 30 and 40 uh, 45 degrees so someone say, okay, this is not there is no compliance to the element of the bundle. So the the card is going to be read for everybody. Yeah, right. You know, everybody in the ICU is going to see that's red, and this is a problem. And to end the presentation, Oscar. Um, so what what are the conclusion conclusions and some reflections? The virtual the, the TWI virtual training is 100% feasible, it's possible, it's doable, and we tried using slides, we tried to use the, the whiteboard, both work perfectly, and we actually prefer slides. And but it's it's completely be completely be completely doable. So so, so in, the demonstrations when the people had to do when you were delivering the that virtually. Um, that when the learners, the participants had to do the demonstrations back within the training, they'd chosen jobs and they had other, they could get a camera, could they, that all worked. The logistics of getting a camera to show, to see what they were doing and, and, um, and observe them practicing, that all worked fine. Perfect, you know, there yeah, was good. no problem. And one thing that I, I forgot to mention, uh, Oscar, when we were, creating the commission by cards using the job uh, breakdown sheet in the process document, we had to connect virtually with the hospitals. And we actually would go with them to the ICU and we would observe them doing things, the procedures, and we'd ask them questions. So for both situations, it worked perfectly. Yeah, During well. the TWR training, you know, worked, and also when we were trying go to the Gamba, you know, seeing yeah, so they, them. They just had a camera on a smartphone, did they? Yes, or did they, yes, yeah, yes. Brilliant, isn't it? It's amazing yes. what um, it's amazing what this COVID thing. The good, the upside. It's amazing what COVID has forced us to learn to do. <laughs> yes, uh, oh, we spend hours with the, the smartphone. Someone, the nurse with his smartphone on the hand, and we are talking. I'm from Houston someone in Brazil, in Portugal, just chatting in, in, you know, they demonstrate, we give feedback. And so everything was done 100% virtually. Brilliant. Sorry, I distracted you, keep going. No, 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 that's fine. So, uh, so introducing TWI uh, and especially job uh, breakdown, uh, job destruction, uh, reduce the variation normally, enormously within hospitals and among hospitals. So it's a little bit time consuming at the beginning, but it's, it's gonna save a lot of time in the introduction of the visual management. Everything's visual now, you know, they don't have to wait until the end of the month to look at the run chart and say, oh, the, you know, we had 70% of bundle compliance. Now it's every day they see clearly in the commission by yeah. board what is happening. 
well, if you wait till the end of the month and find out that you had 70% compliance, it's a little bit late to do anything about the 30%. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> and now it's everything now, you know, today, and they have yeah. to fix it today. And, and creating these, these commission by cards and the, the, all these documents was very cheap, you know, it was less than $10 per hospital. Yeah. And, and now, and this learning, it's absolutely incredible, you know. So my conclusion is uh, job instruction um, closed a, a gap that we had in the model for improvement. That was the, the implementation side, side of it. And also forced us to go virtual, train a lot of people and make the, the measures visual. So I stop here, Oscar, and, and I'm, you know, and I can answer questions if you, if you want to. Well, the only question I had, uh, other question, and any, I noticed this, Gabriel, I noticed you've joined and you're on the same time zone as me and you might have other questions. Um, but anyone else field a question? We've got eight minutes left. Um, my one question I had was, you mentioned Mozambique. How did, uh, that's your sort of all sides of the globe. How did, what, how did Mozambique, a hospital in Mozambique get involved? So, uh, how they're gonna, how they got involved in this? Yeah. So, IHI has a contract with a, a partner in Mozambique. Ah. So, we are partner with someone there in the country. So we are working there to reduce maternal mortality, but are we gonna, are you using the same methodology? Yeah, it's through the, um, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, but it's through the, uh, the body at the top that you mentioned. Yes, so, yes. Uh, Gabriel, who's in Sydney, has, has asked a question. What did the Kamashabi cards look like? Was it a card on the big whiteboard? or by the patient bedside. It was a card on the white, just describe that in a bit more detail and you might need to go back to the slides. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's, not, it's not in the, you know, close to the patient's bed. It's in a, in a place that everybody in the ICU can see it. And it's, it's big, you know, I don't know how to, do you use metric or, or inches in? We use metric, but most of the audience you're talking to will use Imperial, American. American. So maybe oof, um, use metric and I'll interpret. Yeah. So it's like two meters per, uh, for three meters over three right. meters. So two and a half yards by three and a half yards. Roughly. Yeah. And, and it's visible to everyone in, uh, in the ICU and all their walk rounds, Oscar, it's, 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 they do the walk rounds in front of the commission by car, the commission by board, including yeah, right. the leadership. And it, we have incredible stories, you know, leadership. How big are the cards? How big are the actual cards? The cards are the size of a, a quarter of a A4 uh, paper, piece right. of paper. Quarter A4, you know, so A5, A6, yeah. A7. I, I can send it to you all the measurement, et cetera, you know, but we have everything no, standardized. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good. Perfect. All right. I don't see any other questions coming in. We finished early. Uh, that's fine. Uh, hang on. There might be, woo, there won't be. Ah, sorry. A, a, a da David has asked. Um, and I'll go for the second one. Is there a daily meeting around the Kamishabi board? Yes. So another thing that I forgot to forget to mention, Oscar, the reasons that there is no bundle compliance, the observer has to make a note and it's going to stick the note in the daily management board. And every single day, they meet in front of the Kamishabi board in the daily management board and they discuss what happened why uh -huh. they fail uh, to, com to complain to the bundle. And they take this information either to the, the safety huddle or the, the daily meeting. So the information, it's, it's real, real time, all the time. Yeah, right. I think there was a slide, I'm just going through. There was a slide that you connected to a problem solving sheet, slide nine. Is that yeah, daily me... management collaborative? So you had the, if you want to go back to what I think was slide nine. Yes, here. Yes. So yes. let's say the bed was not elevated 
And the reason was because there is no way to measure the, the angle of the bag. Yes. So the person that is observing, it's going to write it down, no instrument to measure the bed elevation. And they will stick here in the, in this side that is C and solve problems, or it's a more complex condition that needs to be analyzed. And maybe we have to, you know, use a um, Ishikawa to whatever. So, but everything that happens here comes to this, this daily management here. And right. every day they get the, the posted and say, okay, the problem was X, the solution is Z, the responsible is uh, Oscar, and yeah. the deadline status in the help chain. So if they right. cannot resolve the problem, who's who, who going to help this person to solve yeah, this yeah. problem? So that's the way that they manage the, the collaborative, you know, the, to reach the aim at the end of two years. So the yellow ones on the left-hand side. I'm sorry. The, that's all right. The yellow ones on the left-hand side are the things we can get at and really they just do it. Yes. Yeah, you know, get on and do it, fix it. Whereas the right-hand yeah. side, the blue or the grey, whatever that colour is, is more um, where we need a bit of scientific thinking because yes. we're not sure what the answer is going to be. We need to yes. do some experimenting. Correct. Yeah. For example, here, there is no hand sanitizer. It's yeah. a see and solve yeah, problem. You know, go it's just, it. Yeah, it's obvious. Very good. All right. Um, Dr. Boron, we'll pull up there. Thank you very, very much. That was uh, very simple, um, but very much to the point. I appreciate it. But I think the most important thing for me, I reckon in those hospitals, if I had the misfortune to end up in ICU, I would be reasonably confident that I, if I under, uh, given I understood, I understand what's going on there to some degree, I'd be confident that I'm better off. And the chances of me coming out of ICU without an infection have increased because of the work you're doing there. And I think that's a brilliant thing. So well for done. Sure. Thank really you. Really appreciate Oscar. it. Thank you for your time. Um, and uh, Skylar from Lean Frontiers, is there anything else you want to add and thanks very much for putting this on Skylar I know this takes a little bit of work on your part so thank you is there anything you wanted to add hi everyone um no nothing from RN at Lean Frontiers other than don't forget that the TWI and Cotta Summit is coming up in March it's about two weeks away Oscar actually will be live there he will be joining us um thank you Dr. Borum for joining us today and facilitating as always, thank you everybody for joining and have a great day. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Guys. Bye. 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 Thanks, Carla. Stay safe.